up? So today I'm going to be showing you my monthly obsessions for May and May was a really crazy, stressful, hectic month and I'm so glad that it's over. So that's pretty much why I wasn't uploading a whole lot. I think I uploaded two videos this past month which is ridiculous. I'm hoping to be back on schedule for this month. I have exactly one month left of school which feels so good and then I just have my placement to do for July and August and then I'm done for college which I'm really excited about that feels just really good to say so I just have a small handful of favorites that I wanted to show you guys so I'm just gonna jump right into it so in the month of May about a week and a half ago I got the worst sunburn ever I haven't burned this bad since I went to Florida in the fifth grade so I'm not wearing a whole lot of face makeup because I haven't been able to for the past little bit because my skin is peeling so bad especially like right here and on my nose it's ridiculous so there's not gonna be a whole lot of makeup favorites that I'm gonna show you guys I have a little bit of skincare and stuff because I'm trying to still recover from this mess I'm gonna insert a picture right here of how bad my sunburn was this was taken the day after I was out in the Sun all day so just look at it just take a second and look at my face and uh, recognize give me some sympathy please so I went to Sephora just a couple of days after I got my sunburn and one of the workers noticed how bad my skin looked like I was just peeling like crazy I looked like a giant lizard so she gave me a sample of something that I've been using every single day since I got it and this is just a sample of the Josie Moran pure argan milk so this is just what she gave me and this I've been using every single day morning and night and I think this has really helped with my skin um, it's really nice and hydrating and light it's definitely a really nice milky consistency which is great so it felt really good to put on my skin so I've pretty much just been focusing it on the places where I got the most burnt and like the peeling is just ridiculously bad so like right here pretty much and a little bit on my forehead and I think it's really helped so this is just really nice for me to have and it's been working great so far so I'm just gonna continue to use it until this problem goes away this next product I've mentioned in previous videos but I needed to mention it again because it's really helped with my sunburn and this is the Barry Stir face mask that I got in my Mimi box a while back but this was really really nice for my sunburn because it's a gel consistency so it's really thick and it's super super cooling it just made my skin feel really nice it really helped calm the redness because of how cooling it was this really helped to give me a little bit more moisture in my skin and balance everything out a little bit better so i've been using this pretty often i'll probably do another face mask tonight to help my skin out a little bit more but this was just awesome so as far as makeup goes i haven't worn a whole lot of makeup because Everything that I put on my face pretty much just fell into all the peeling that I had going on so I really just avoided a lot of face makeup altogether but for my eyes I did really love my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara this month. Um, this is just like one of my all time favorite mascaras. This is just a little sample size that I got from Sephora. I don't think I would ever buy a high end mascara just because they're so expensive. I don't really have the budget for that and mascara is something I go through really really quick but these little samples that you can get are awesome. So this one I've had quite a few times. It's definitely one of my favorites. I love the wand of this. I usually apply about two to three coats of this mascara and I just apply a coat, wait a little bit for it to dry, and then I apply another one. And this gives me a lot of length and a lot of volume and it doesn't clump my lashes together since I love doing a whole lot of coats. With some mascaras, it can really clump together or look really spidery and kind of gross as you apply more coats. But this one looks really nice. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite mascaras ever and I'm really glad they have these little sample sizes because they last just as long as a full-size mascara. And I'm still using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I haven't touched any other base or primer or anything for my eyes since I got this for Christmas. So this has been mentioned in other monthly favorites videos but I needed to mention it again because I'm still using this every single day. It's a really great nude color so it really cancels out everything that's going on on your eyelids, gives you a really nice clean base for your eyeshadow and it lasts all day without fading or creasing or anything like that so this is just still my go-to product for my eyes so I really wanted to show you guys the nail polishes that I've been obsessed with so the first one that I'm gonna show you is the one I've been using a lot for this year and the other one is the one I was obsessed with for last year I just felt like it was necessary to show you guys both of them so these colors are both from China Glaze and they're actually from the neon collection so they are matte and they don't apply too nicely they kind of go on a little bit streaky but once you apply your second coat and then your top coat it looks beautiful but they just don't apply really fun or anything but 
these colors I am obsessed with. So this is the one that I've been using a lot for this year and this is called This'll Do Nicely. And it's just a beautiful bright coral color. I just am obsessed with it. And then this one is the one I used last year like all the time and this is called Pool Party. So this is just a brighter kind of watermelon pink. I also have a pair of shoes that I wanted to show you guys. I had to get new ones this year so these are the ones that I picked out. These are from Call It Spring and they are a beautiful mint teal turquoise kind of color. This is one of my favorite colors for this year. These shoes also came in black and white but obviously I wanted to get a really fun bright color especially with my school uniform of being black and white. This just gives a really nice pop of color to my outfits and they're just so pretty. I really like the gold detailing that it has right here. And as for TV shows, Taylor and I haven't been watching a whole lot recently, but at the beginning of this month, we started watching The 100 on Netflix, and that was such a good show. If you guys have Netflix, definitely check that out. It's about two seasons, and they're coming out with their third season kind of in the fall, I think, but we watched that show like that, like in a couple of days, and we were done. We were hooked on it. It was so good. And now we're not really watching anything, so if you guys have any show recommendations that are on Netflix, definitely leave it in the comments down below because we're not sure what to watch next. I feel like we've watched a lot of the good ones already, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And yesterday, I actually started watching Zoe 101 on YouTube. They have like the full episodes on YouTube, so definitely search it because it's so good. Also, just a couple of days ago was my sister's prom, so I actually went home for that weekend and I did my sister's nails and I did some of her friend's nails, hair and makeup and all that stuff, so that was super fun. I'll insert some pictures right here, but that was such a good experience and prom was just one of my best memories of high school. That night was so fun, so it was really nice to go back and just kind of just experience that day kind of all over again with my sister and her friends by just getting ready with them and being a part of their special day. And also that was really good practice for me and it's also really good because I got a lot of good pictures of their hair and makeup that I did to add to my portfolio. So that was that was a really good experience and it was so much fun. All right, so those were all of my obsessions for May. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave any video requests in the comments down below because I really, really want to film a lot in June and just kind of get myself back on track with YouTube because I missed you guys so much. And also let me know what you guys were obsessed with in the month of May, like your favorite makeup products, TV shows, or something fun that you did. I really want to know. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. I love you very much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys. Shining like a fifth avenue diamond, they don't make